Same as usual, Jerry? Oh, yes, thanks, Vince. What's it like outside? Oh, it's going to be a scorcher, I reckon. I wish I had a job like yours. I don't mind it when it's like this, but when they start coming in on a hot day... <laughs> Still, I mustn't grumble. I do all right. There we are. Fifty cents, thanks. Oh, yeah. Please. Oh, this one's going to be easy, I tell you. The way he's looking at us, you'd think we were made of chocolate ice cream. Dirty bastard. He's a real fairy, too. The way he's holding that glass. Yeah, I'll bet that the pans he's drink, too. He's coming this way. What did you say? Hey, oh, what did you say? I'm going to talk to you. What's that? No, I was just saying it. It'd be a nice day for a swim. Yeah. made a positive identification, and it's your friend Cook's print that they found on the car. All right, so I met him, but I didn't do anything. Oh, come on. You don't expect me to believe that Cook did it all on his own. Believe what you like. I just sat and watched Joe. You're a liar, Lambert. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> what are you getting so head up about? He's a poofta. Why all the fuss? I thought you'd be grateful. People like him deserve all they get. We should get a medal, right? Hey. Look, people like him are sick. They love all the rough stuff. <laughs> when I was standing over him naked, you should have heard him begging, begging me. He was begging me to beat him. But I didn't. I refused. Then Joe got angry and he kicked him. Oh, it just made me so sick I turned away. Well, it was Joe. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Douglas Lambert and Joseph Cook were convicted of the murder of Gerald Rivers and are serving a sentence of 20 years imprisonment.